Hello, friends. There are so many amazing features when it comes to using Smartsheet. It would be way too much to try to cover them all in a single video. So today, I am going to be talking about how you can use conditional formatting using Smartsheet. Maybe you are a project manager and you want to highlight certain rows or columns and see like which tasks are at risk or becoming past due. Or maybe you want to see which ones have been completed and you can maybe move into another spreadsheet. Or maybe you are a landlord and you're trying to keep track of which units are going to become available, like say within the next 45 days or next three months. Who's behind on rent and so forth. And so if you're trying to manage say hundreds and hundreds of tenants, it would get pretty tedious to do things manually. And so that is where conditional formatting can come into the rescue. So I've got here some dummy data and I'm pretending that this is a landlord's data. And so I've got here the unit number, occupant name. These are all fake names, of course, with the exception of my name. And the email address I'm using here is an old email address I don't use very often. It's kind of like my junk email address per se. And then I've got monthly rent, layout, is it a two, three or four bedroom unit? When their lease is ending, and if it's checked, the tenant is renewing. And rent status, if it's flagged, they are in the rears. So if the first formatting rule I'm going to be applying is let's say the landlord wants to figure out who's moving out within the next 45 days. And they're, obviously they're not renewing. And who is behind on rent so that they can set up a payment arrangement with that tenant. So with that being said, the goal here is I'm going to be applying... Uh, a formatting rule applying to individual cells. So it's pretty easy to see here because there's not too much data, but we can see here that I'm not renewing my lease and neither is Seth. As you can see here, they're not renewing, but uh oh, they are in the rears. We got to set up a payment arrangement with them because yeah, they're flagged and they're not renewing and their lease is ending within the next 45 days. So we're going to highlight these two cells in dark red text and white and bold. So obviously, could you imagine that would be way too time consuming to have to do that with hundreds of tenants. So buckle up because you're about to see the power of conditional formatting. So we're going to come over here to this icon that looks like a waffle. Click on it. You're going to click on the, you're going to get this dialog box that opens up and we're going to hit add a new rule. And we're going to set the condition. We're going to start off with rent status. It is flagged. They are in the rears. Click OK. We're going to add another condition. You're going to come to this small arrow here, add an AND condition. We're going to set the condition, this time renewing. They are not renewing, so obviously that's unchecked. Click OK. Once again, we're going to add our third condition here. Click that small arrow. And then the third condition is the lease end date. And in that case, it is less than. You can either do it by less than 45 days or you can do it by a set date. Well, let's keep it nice and simple. Less than. Come over here to this calendar icon here and click on September 1st. Hit OK. So pretty much all of these rules have to be true in order for this formatting rule to take place. So I'm going to come over here and like I mentioned, I want the cell to be highlighted in dark red, text in all white and bold. Now, it's being applied to the entire row. I don't want that. I just want it to be applied to the occupant name. So I'm going to click on this entire row here, and I just want the occupant name. Click OK, and there you have it. So now, anyone that's not renewing, they're moving out pronto, and they're in the rears. It's going to be shaded in dark red and bolded in white. So that's the first formatting rule. The second formatting rule I'm going to be applying is maybe you want to figure out all the units that you have that are at $8.25 per month. And so, I mean, yeah, I mean, I could just like look at this and then like, yeah, that's $8.25. This is $8.25. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And I can just be like, okay, I'm just going to shade that in green. And I could just scroll all the way down and highlight each row that's $8.25 in green. But that would just get really tedious and that would just take way too much time. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the back arrow here. And instead, I'm going to use conditional formatting. So once again, click on the conditional format icon, add a new rule, set the condition. This time it's going to be monthly rent, 825. 
hit OK. And we're going to apply this to the entire row. But I'm going to have this be in green. Let's have our text be white. And then click that. And then hit OK. And so now every row, uh, every unit that's 825 is going to be highlighted in green. And now for the third uh, formatting rule, let's say you're a landlord and yes, Fall is only a couple of months away and you've got an influx of students who are looking for rooms to rent and they're interested in four bedroom units. I mean, not the two bedroom, three bedroom. I mean, you've got lots and lots of students. They've got their friends lined up and they're like, yep, we want four bedroom units. And you're trying to figure out what's going to be available. So first off, you can see the layout here, four bedroom units, but you also got to consider who are not renewing, meaning that the unit's going to become available. So in that case, once again, click on this icon. We're going to set a new rule. And we're going to go ahead and uh, set the condition. And are they renewing? No. We want all the units that are going to become available. So I click on checked. Hit OK. But we have to add our second, uh, a second condition here. And we're going to add that. And we're going to set the condition, this time, to layout to four, a four-bedroom unit. Click OK. And once again, I don't want the entire row. I just want two columns this time. So I'm just going to do, I'm going to click the, the unit number and the layout. And then click OK. And let's have this be in gold. So I'm going to put this in gold. And let's have the text be black and italicized, just to add some creativity to it. And click OK. And there you have it. So any unit number and layout anything that's going to become available and that's also a four bedroom unit is highlighted in gold but if you look really closely you're going to see something here and it's like okay well actually let me go back here because i want to show you something here is i'm going to go ahead and uncheck this so like let's say these people decided they've had enough of student housing living and they just you know they're done i mean they're ready to move on so they're moving out so all of a sudden, they decide to move out, and they're not behind on rent. But wait a sec. It's a four-bedroom unit. It's going to become available, but why is it not in gold? Well, if you come back here, you, this is one thing you got to keep in mind. No, higher rules take priority over lower rules. So what's happening is this rule is being applied before this rule, and the reason for that is if we come back out here, this is an 825 unit. So if I come back here, the rule that's highlighting the entire row in green takes precedence over this rule. So that's why it's not being highlighted in gold. Now what's really cool about Smartsheet and conditional forming and any many of the other features is as soon as you make a change, it instantly reflects like any formatting rules you have. So let's say that you're going to be offering a deal to all of your students uh, for particular rooms and so like let's say we're going to change this to 800 we'll just change that to 800 and I want to make sure that's 800 and of course that's not going to change because that's it's not a four bedroom unit but it got rid of the the green highlighting but now come down here if I change this to say we're going to give them a, a screaming deal we're going to do five hundred dollars now watch what happens it turns gold so that is really cool. One of the awesome features of using conditional formatting. So I hope you guys got some good information on how you can use the power of conditional formatting to make your spreadsheet come alive and easier to read and just keep yourself better organized. So thank you all for watching and I'll be back at you with another video. Stay tuned. Take care everyone. Peace.